there is an angel for prosperity reasons. There is an angel that the Lord will send uh, to see to it that you are prosperous, uh, successful in the thing that you are about to do. That you will achieve those things. You will accomplish those things. Now, when the Lord sends an angel with thee to, to prosper you, uh, what else can God do? Now, it's up to you to get busy and, and call upon all of the talent there is within you and allow God to bless you in ways that you have never been blessed before. But you've got to do something uh, for God to prosper you. God will not prosper a lazy man, a lazy woman. God will not prosper that kind of a person because uh, they're not doing anything. Because pros prospering a person means that the person is going to be successful in ventures into business or uh, other uh, aspects of life. The Lord is going to prosper you as a husband and as a wife. The Lord is going to prosper your children. The Lord is going to prosper uh, the family. He's going to cause the family to prosper. Now, uh, these are things that God has committed himself to do for people who have committed themselves to him and have also committed themselves to a developing mind uh, who have a, um, a positive attitude about life, that he's going to send you someone to help you to prosper. I'm going to send someone to aid you to prosper and to see to it that you're successful in what you are about. Now, that's beautiful, when, because when God sends someone with you, you can be assured that it's going to come out the right way. All right, now, we're talking about uh, um, uh, prospering. Deuteronomy 29 and 9. Keep, therefore, the words of this covenant, and do them that ye may prosper in all that ye do. That ye may prosper in all that ye do. Now note, not in some things you do, but in all things. That ye may prosper in all things that ye do. Now isn't that beautiful? I say it is. Uh, God wants every one of you to prosper. Every child of God, God wants you to prosper. How much prosperity can I have, God? He says that I want you to prosper in all that you do, in everything that you do. I want you to prosper in it. Now, who could ask for more than that? If that doesn't get you up off of the negative uh, thoughts and negative attitudes and, um, and get you moving, I don't know what, what will. Uh, the Lord is going to prosper you. So you've got to give him something to bless, something that he can prosper. More than just sitting out holding your hands. You've got to give him something to prosper. S start something that he can bless something that he can put his approval on, something that God can work out for you, something that God can show you his mighty power, that he is with you, that he is going to prosper you. Now, I want you to note, now, this was, this is written in Deuteronomy, which means uh, the children of Israel is now at this point, somewhere in the wilderness, on their way to the promised land, of course, the Lord never prospered them to reach the promised land. They did not prosper uh, because they rebelled in the most negative way possible. I talked about that in the early um, lessons, how that uh, the Lord uh, rejected 
the people because of their negative attitudes and uh, their backward thinking and feelings about life and they are wishing uh, that they had died in Egypt. They're wishing that they could go back to Egypt and not go ahead to the promised land where the Lord can bless them and where the Lord can prosper them. The Lord said, I cannot bless you in Egypt. I will not bless you in Egypt. I will not prosper you in Egypt. And the Lord didn't let them prosper in Egypt. The children of Israel became slaves to the Egyptians and remained slaves for 400 years to the Egyptians because the Lord refused to prosper the children of Israel in Egypt. He wanted them out of Egypt. I'm going to prosper you, but it will not be in Egypt. I will prosper you in the promised land beyond the Jordan River. That's where your prosperity lies. But they never reached the territory so that God could prosper them. Now, if God promises to prosper you, why don't you move? Why don't you get up and, and move yourself and go to the place where he can prosper you, where he can enrich your life, where he can enlighten you and show you things to do and uh, things to achieve so that you can be that blessed individual that the Lord wants you to be. All right. Now, he promises to prosper them in all that they do. All that they do. I'm going to prosper you in everything that you do. And I believe that. As a matter of fact, I know it. The Lord will prosper you. The Lord will prosper you. You remember the words of Solomon, in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he will direct thy path. Those are beautiful words, and they're true. They're, they're so true. Uh, now, the reason why Israel couldn't prosper is because they were a negative people. They didn't believe anything. Uh, they didn't believe anything positive. Uh, the uh, positive thinking that belonged in their lives. And God had done enough for them to motivate them and cause them to think positive. But they just couldn't bring themselves to think positive. They just kept continuously complaining, 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 complaining about what little they had. But in spite of the fact that little they had, it was only for the wilderness. And they didn't need to spend no 40 years in the wilderness. They didn't need to spend 40 days in the wilderness. They could have gone on through the wilderness to promised land. All they had to do was to think positive. That's all they had to do, think positive. Every step of the way, think positive. Not negative and fall apart and start fighting with each other, fighting against each other, fighting against Moses, fighting against Aaron, fighting against this one, that one, and the other. The power struggle came into the midst. And everybody wanted to be the chief. Nobody wanted to be an Indian. All because the people lost uh, their positive thoughts about God and about themselves. We are not able, we are not able to conquer these people. We are not able to achieve what God say we can achieve. We are not able. We are not able. able. Not able is dead. Dead. But you just kept re resurrected. Not able. We are not. We are not. We are not able. Don't ever say that you are not able. You should always say, by the grace of God, with God's help, I will succeed. I shall succeed. And I will succeed. Let that be your tea in the morning, your coffee in the morning. Let it be your coffee for lunch and for, and, 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 and for dinner. Drink it. Drink it every day. Drink it every day. I will succeed. I'm going to succeed. God is going to help me to succeed. And if you drink that every day, and let it get into your bloodstream. Let it get in, into your character, into your personality. You'd be surprised to know how changed you will become and prosper in all the things that you are about. For this is the will of God, that the Lord keep thee and bless thee 
and lift up his countenance upon thee and to prosper thee. That's God's will for you. God has willed that to you. Look at Second Chronicles, uh, chapter 20 and 20. And they rose up early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, O ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established, believe in his prophets, and so shall ye prosper. 